we're basically done with all of our porting. Um, I got the cylinder where I want it. The last thing that we have to do is chamfer all the ports that we reground. Um, this is a Nicosil cylinder. A little tricky. Um, which, if you do this incorrectly, there's a chance that oil can get under the Nicosil and flake the cylinder. Um, so you got to kind of stick to your specs. What we're going to do is we're going to run at a 10 degree angle, approximately 10 degrees, and there's no way to really measure this. And we're going to go in about 15 thousandths. 15 thousandths is five year hairs backed up one against the other. I'm going to do this with a stone. Never mind the phone, but I'm going to do this with a stone. And this is my, uh, this is what I trim my wheels out with. It's pretty cool. give me a nice fresh, uh, fresh finish to go ahead and work with. So we're just going to come in, you know, this being 90 degrees, we're just going to back off about this much and just really easy take nice sweeping strokes. This is the critical part of the whole job. You go too deep, you run the chance on flaking some nickel cell. Just gonna put a nice chamfer right here. This isn't that critical because the rings aren't gonna touch this part of it. It's the exhaust port and anything in the uh, transfer port that you did change it, we didn't change it on this cylinder. But all of that's going to be critical. And then I'm actually, once I get done with the stone, I'm going to hit this with uh, some sandpaper too to make it even smoother. But you want a nice chamfer here. You don't want any burrs to interfere with your piston. Well, we're finally done with this cylinder. We went ahead and uh, chamfered all the ports. And um, everything in here feels good. Nothing's going to snag a ring. You got to check the top, especially this exhaust port. This thing has to be so smooth. These rings just have to glide over this. And uh, the auxiliary exhaust ports as well. Well, we're finished with the cylinder. Uh, the last step was to go ahead and chamfer all the ports. We did the intake side. We did the auxiliary exhaust ports and the exhaust port as well. Um, did it with a stone and then finished it with the uh, 400 grit sandpaper. And everything here feels really, really nice. It's not going to snag a ring.